I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a peekaboo elf. I take two fingers on the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across from left to right. I come in on the left again and I put one finger and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, over, down, connect, come up to this part on the left and I draw a slightly diagonal curve line up, down, connect, and right here at the very top I draw a wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. I come right next to the bottom part, right here, and I'm going to draw a curved line up, over, down, connect. On the left hand side, I draw a curved line up, in, connect on the left. On the right hand side, I draw a curved line up, in, connect on the right. I come back to the left. And I draw a big curve line up, over, down, connect, come back to the left again, and this time I draw slightly curved line up, over, down, in, connect on the right. Right here on the end, I draw another wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. I come right back in on this space and I draw a curve line up, down, connect on the left, and a curve line up, down, connect on the right. Come back to the left, draw a curve line inside on the left, and a curve line inside on the right. I'm going to color these in with my black right now so that I can see that this is my eyeball on the left and this is my eyeball on the right. I'm going to add one, two, three little straight lines on the left, one, two, three little straight lines on the right, and I'm going to add a curve line, curve line right above. Okay, now I come over to this space and I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw slightly wavy line, up, down, connect. Now I start on the right hand side and I draw a big curve line up, over, big curve line down, connect. Right here at the end I draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Starting over here in the background I'm going to go one, two, three straight lines and I'm going to put a baby circle at the end of each. Right here in the middle I'm going to go one, two, three straight lines, baby circles at the end, and up here on the top I'm going to go one, two, three straight lines, baby circles, all the way down and around. One more if you have room. One, two, three straight lines, baby circles at the end of each. Now come back and put a dot way over here on the left and we're going to draw up, straight line down, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. If you have room put a dot up here, straight line up, down, out, in, out, in, in, connect, and if you have room over here, straight line up, down, in, out, in, out, in, out, connect. Okay, now I come back down here to the bottom and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, connect. 
then a wavy wavy line up connect 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 wavy wavy line off the page now I go back to the left and I draw a straight line straight line down 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 come back over straight line across straight line straight line down straight line across straight line down straight line straight line across straight line down 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 straight line across straight line straight line straight line straight line across straight line straight line straight line and if you have room straight line straight line straight line okay I think nope I forgot something one more straight line start here on the left jump over don't draw through your drawing jump over we're gonna add another straight line jump over off the page now I think we're done all right let's see how we're gonna color this in okay the first thing I'm gonna do is color in my elf if you have peach apricot any color like that you might want to color in your elf face color if you want brown you can use brown if you want to use pink you can use pink but I'm just putting a little bit of color so it doesn't look so white then with my orange I'm gonna put three straight lines next I'm gonna get my red crayon and I gotta color all of these hats red and like I always say you all will do a way better job than me so I'm gonna do all of these hats red all the way across then I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm going to color all the end little dots on my snowflakes and all of my stars yellow so put a little bit of color on those all the way okay then just to add another pop of color this section that we added I'm gonna make this green it's like part of the wall and it's kind of important because it differentiates all of these hats from each other okay now I'm gonna leave this whole top section white because I want that to look like it's snow so these are all bricks that I'm gonna use brown on you know all the way across you could double color these if you wanted but I'm just going to use my regular brown all the way across keep going and I, I if I was going to double color I might put a little bit of orange a little bit of red over my brown or maybe even use them first and then cover with brown up to you you're the artist okay then the last thing I'm going to do so I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to do straight lines for my background all the way across. This looks very festive when you get it all done. Lots of coloring, lots of drawing, but a nice picture. And it also can be foreground, middle ground, and background. The foreground being your brick wall, the middle ground being your peekaboo elf, and the background being all these stars and snowflakes. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my peekaboo elf 
all colored in, hiding out from Santa. This is your foreground, this is your middle ground, this is your background. Okay, bye-bye.